Hey guys, this is your boy Sam coming up with you guys from Sac City in Central Cali and today I will be teaching you how to screenshot a video so that you can capture that awesome moment from the movie that you're watching and keep it as a background for your PC or so that you can share it on social media with your friends. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you three ways to do it, so let's get started. Alright you guys, so for the first method, we're going to require an app called BLC Media Player. If you don't have it, go ahead and download it by clicking on the link on the description below. Once you have installed this free program, go ahead and open it and load up any video that you like. Once you do that, go ahead and stop it wherever you like, like I did here. I have already prepared a video for this tutorial and the video that we're looking at right now is Wendy Dragon Force versus Aso from Fairy Tail. Now I stopped it here because I wanted to capture this exact moment. So let me show you how to do that. We could do it this way by clicking on video and take snapshot. And there you go. You got your snapshot. The other way is by clicking on the snapshot button up here. And I have two buttons on there so let me show you how to add your own button down there because when you download this program you're not gonna have it so you're gonna click on customize interface and let me see we're gonna go ahead and remove that so what you're gonna want to do is go down here scroll down and look for it and then you're gonna drag it and you're gonna place it from here or here if you place it over here, it's just, it's just going to be on the hidden menu, so you don't want that. Pop it anywhere around here, and once you're done, click close, and the button will be there for you, and you can just click it, and you got yourself a snapshot. Now, where do the snapshots go? Alright, for that, you're going to go ahead and click Tools, and Preferences. Then you're going to go here on the video, on the video tab, and then here you're going to select the directory that you like like I already chose in mine you go to my pictures folder and a folder that I made within the pictures folder called BLC snapshots now the prefix over here you can leave it as it is or you can just change it as for the format you can select PNG JPG or TIFF I usually just roll with JPG once you are done click save and now let's go ahead and look at our snapshots. Alright, so pictures. You'll see snapshots. And as you can see, see everything that says BLC snap is those are the snapshots that I have captured. And I have captured a lot of them. See, it ranges from Supergirl to Japanese TV shows including some of some from my own YouTube videos so I could have a better you know thumbnail and this is what we've captured so far now these three I captured them earlier because I screwed up the tutorial but now that you know where how to do this let me show you another way to do it now for the second method you're gonna require we're gonna need to go full screen on BLC media player or any media player that you want and then you're just gonna press the print screen button on your keyboard once you do that you can just exit the full screen and then you're gonna open any photo editor that you like like in my case I'm gonna be opening paint.net any image editor is fine especially the default which is paint or Photoshop if you want to and then after that all you gotta do is click on paste and this one is asking me if I want to ex extend expand my canvas I'm gonna say yes and there you go there's your screenshot now all you gotta do is go ahead and click file save as on your photo editor and save it. See, I could just save it over here as a PNG, choose my name, let's say FT, 
windy, fairy tale windy. And it's gonna be on another folder. Save. And then it's gonna show you what it's gonna look look like. And you click OK. And you got yourself a screenshot. Now these are the two easy easier ways to do it, but there is another way which I'm gonna show you. So stay tuned for that one. Okay guys, so the third method requires you to download a program called Free Studio, which comes with all of these applications that you can use later on. But for now, we're gonna focus on this one called Free Video to JPG Converter. Now when you download this program, they're gonna ask you to open a premium membership. Don't do that. You do not need to do that. What we need to do is open Free Video to JPG Converter. Once you open it, this is what it's gonna look like. And then right here, you can just select the folder that you're gonna save your screenshots to. I already selected mine. So just look for your folder or make a new one. Once you have it selected, click OK. Now there's mine. And this program gives you quite the options. Now, you can take screenshots every 10 frames or as many frames as you set it up to. You could take screenshots every two seconds every 50 frames from this video that we're going to be using or the video that you're going to be using or every frame from your video what I usually do it's every two seconds so let's load up a video add files and I'm going to be using Let me see here. What do I have that I can use? All right, fuck it. We're gonna use Hail to the King by Avenged Sevenfold. And we're gonna be capturing every two seconds. And let me show you my output folder. Let me show you that it's empty. See, there it is, nice and empty. And now, just click Convert. And now what it's doing, it's taking screenshots. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip so that you guys don't have to, to wait through the whole damn thing. So I'll see you in just a couple of seconds. All right, you guys, as you can see, we are nearly done. And there we go, our process is completed. Now let me show you the output folder once again. And there we go, Avenged Semifold, Hail to the King, live in a rock and ring. And look at that, all those screenshots. See, Video to JPG Converter does this for you. That way you don't have to sit and screenshot every single frame or every single second of a video on your own. And let me open one of the screenshots. And there you go. See, I downloaded this video from Metallica Solo Fan, and that's all the shit that came up on the video. But as you can see, screenshots every two seconds. Now, this video that I downloaded is not HD, it's like 480p, so the screenshots are not that good, but. When you download videos at 720p or 1080p, you're gonna get beautiful, beautiful screenshots. And uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. And uh, if you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more. Especially if you like gaming videos because this channel is mainly a gaming channel. So I will see you guys in the next one and peace out.